Hello and welcome back. I have here an IC215 and yeah it is a, a portable I would say because it is not a, a handheld and it's also not a, not a mobile like this. It is kind of a combination of the, the two in between and it is from the 200 series like this one. So it has a channel dial and uh, but it is, it is kind of rare and, and as far as I know, uh, Icom didn't make too many of these. Uh, it has a battery pack, uh, there are no batteries in luckily. I found this one like a year ago on, uh, on, on eBay. And, and more things are, are not Icom like, like the always red. Icom has always been very conservative with uh, using um, black or dark green and the, the only time I, I remember that I did it before and that was also a supportable that was the 505 for uh, for six meters and uh, and this is the 505 and also this is very an icon like with the light green instead of the yeah the conservative dark uh, colors so uh, also a portable yeah. Yeah, so this is kind of a rare set and, uh, and, and the nice thing is the antenna is still working and you uh, can carry it around in a, in a belt. There is a clip here. I, I do not have the belt. It has some, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's leather or sky leather. Uh, yeah, we can take it out. You can only also run it on the external 12 volts. You need to be careful because uh, as you can see the 12 volt would be just different than you would expect with the positive on the outside. Usually you expect it to be in the inside so be careful of that. Mm, yeah. Uh, well, now if you can see again it needs cleaning but uh, let's uh, Let's open it up. The opening is easy. You just uh, pull the plastics and then it releases. Uh, well, the former owner put it full of crystals. So all the channels are full uh, except one. So that is very nice. I see. Okay, for the duplex they put different crystals. Okay, makes sense. Mm, antenna. Oh. Looks very nice. Let's have a look in the other side. Mm, crystals. Okay, it's different. Mm. Okay, I was able to open it. It was a bit stuck. I do not use a screwdriver but I have these special tools that you can get in between and it doesn't damage anything because with the screwdriver you will really damage. So, um, but uh, look inside. The battery compartment even as the tube still is super clean. This uh, former owner took really care of his uh, machine. I like to see that. And uh, lucky me, <laughs> because now it's here. Yeah, I will clean it and then we put it on the Maconi. Well, there was a little uh, dust behind the glass. I didn't like that, so I decided to take the whole front off. And that is possible, but you need to be careful. Uh, on the top you have two screws. On the bottom there are two and the bottom one are underneath this uh, piece of rubber and on top of that the uh, volume and power switch has this little ring that is inside here so you need to take that out first so two screws two screws volume and then you can carefully try to take it out and uh, yeah then you have good access to clean everything and also uh, you have more room so we can clean the switches with the special contact cleaner and uh, S meter so we have a, a much better access to uh, continue.
cleaning is done look at this this always makes me enthusiastic it is as new as we can get it even the microphone look at this so this goes in my collection also <laughs> again i like it my dad also had one so uh, yeah so how, how does it work we have here uh, the on and off switch so we switch it on and then we select the dial and then you can select your 1 to 12. Um, you can also select an a a fixed frequency and a b fixed frequency and a c the c was empty i saw so that doesn't work but if we go to the dial we can put it now on dial and then the channel selection works you even have a little switch to switch the s meter and the power meter while transmitting and you have a low power and high power for transmitting because it runs on batteries you also want a low power mode and the low power mode is uh, about 250 milliwatts and the high power mode is almost 2 watts and on 2 watts transmitting power it is still kind of efficient because it is only doing a point you could see in the in the corner there it is doing 0.6 of an amp and uh, that is not bad so uh, but on batteries uh, <laughs> it will go fast um, yeah it's a nice kit i'm surprised uh, that if it's very sensitive if i put uh, See, go to transmit rxdx reception i'm here at point yeah it's point 0.2 micro <laughs> that is very sensitive i like it i was checking channel one and i thought that the reception was not working but I think that put the uh, frequency of the repeater and uh, if I transmit it's on uh, 145 025 and if I can put the, the button you can open the repeater so the reception will probably 600 up so uh, let's check that uh, 145 625 megahertz and yes so they they put in channel one the repeaters yeah same point two perfect yeah i i, I forgot uh, of course because you work with the crystals and if you then want your uh, negative or positive shift of 600k then you need to put different uh, crystals in it and yeah, there is no indication that uh, it is done in those channels so uh, there is a little list there with the channels that are in but it doesn't say which one is a shift or not so uh, i will take out the list and make an, uh, a new list but uh, perfectly working so we have for our collection a new icon 215 and that concludes my review thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next time